friends, I am Dr. Nilesh M. Lokeshwar. I am a consultant medical oncologist at the Leelawati Hospital and Research Center here in Mumbai. Uh, I have done my training in medical oncology from the Tata Memorial Hospital and I have done my DM in medical oncology from the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. My special areas of interest include breast cancer, lung cancer and gastrointestinal cancers. I am here today to talk to you about the recent changes and advances that have occurred in the field of breast cancer. What we have noticed that in the last few years there has been a sub substantial increase in the number of breast cancer and this is also worrisome because a significant proportion of breast cancer is now being seen in younger women. The exact causes for that is not very clear but we do attribute many of this to environmental factors including changes in our lifestyle, a more sedentary lifestyle, um, increase in weight, dietary factors as well as the changes in the reproductive cycles that we are seeing these days, especially having a late uh, childbirth as well as the decrease in breast, breast, breastfeeding. Um, we have understood or we have tried to understand breast cancer at a molecular level and we now understand that breast cancer is not the same in all patients. There are three or four different types of clinical presentations of breast cancer. The most common one is those patients who have breast cancer where the tumor cells secrete uh, a receptor known as the ER or the PR receptor and these are patients known as the hormone positive breast cancers. These patients tend to do well and over the last few years we've, we've realized that these patients benefit a lot by, the giving, by giving them oral hormonal therapy. These are simple tablets that need to be taken for prolonged periods of time of 5 to 10 years and in this group of patients, the tendency is now to delay or postpone or give minimal chemotherapy because the benefit of chemotherapy in these patients is lesser as compared to hormone therapy. The other group of breast cancers which constitutes about 30% of patients are those patients who have got tumors that express the HER2 receptor. And now we have targeted agents which can specifically target the HER2 uh, receptor and the addition of these with chemotherapy has increased the cure rate in this group of patients to as high as 90 percent. These injections are combined with chemotherapy and are continued after chemotherapy. With this we've got an excellent cure rate now in this group of patients. The third group of patients are those who don't have either the ERPR or the HER2 receptor and are known as the triple negative breast cancers. This occurs in about 20 to 25 percent of the patients and is seen in younger patients and, a little, and is one of the more aggressive types of breast cancers. And these patients are often treated with chemotherapy. While we speak so much about the treatment of breast cancer, I think prevention is better than cure in the sense that a lot of focus needs to be done about the awareness and prevention and this can be done by screening of breast cancer. Fortunately, breast cancer is a disease that can be screened and diagnosed early. There are three different types of screening procedures. The most effective, which I believe, is self-breast examination. Every woman must be taught self-breast examination, which should be done once a month. And, this, and, and, the, and the woman needs to examine the breast to see for any changes, any lumps, and bring it to the notice of their primary care physicians or their surgeons, and then get treated appropriately if it is diagnosed to be breast cancer. Another uh, way of screening breast cancer is by regular visits to your physician or your gynecologist who can examine you and find out if you have a lump that is significant. A third important type of screening is mammography. That's an annual mammographic screening. This is usually preferred for patients who are postmenopausal, beyond the age of 50, and we know that annual mammography saves lives. So this is in, my, in summary my uh, talk to you regarding the recent advances in breast cancer and the importance of screening procedures. Thank you all very much. Stay healthy and stay safe.